I am Manil Kumar sharing with you some important multiple choice questions based on sketching polynomial functions. I like you to copy these questions one by one, answer them and then look into my solutions. Let us first look into the type of questions we are going to consider in this particular video. So we'll have multiple choice questions. The first one here is if degree is d and leading coefficient is a of n then for the given graph what is the correct option right so that's the first question second question here is degree and n behavior of y equals to minus 2x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 5 minus 3x cubed plus 5x square minus 7 is what Again, five options are given to you. Question number three, we have to decide degree and end behavior for the given function. Look at these functions carefully so that you don't make any mistakes. Then we have question number four, very similar with minor variation. Then we'll do sketching of polynomial functions. Here is a very simple function to sketch and then we'll add some complications to the polynomial function and then learn rather master the technique of sketching any polynomial perfect so that's the whole idea now let us solve these questions one by one question number one degree d and leading coefficient a n is what for this particular graph now here what you notice is that right side is up, right? So this right side is up. So that gives you leading coefficient as positive. So first rule is right side up. That implies that the leading coefficient is greater than zero. Now second, both are facing the same side, right? Both ends are facing up, right? So both same side that is end behavior both ends face up this means that it is even degree so the option a is the correct option even degree function both sides will be face will be facing either up or down now since right side is up both are up right so it's a question number 2 Degree and end behavior of y equals to minus 2x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 5 minus 3x cubed plus 5x square minus 7 is. Now whenever you're looking into degree, you have to look for highest exponent. Right. So which one is the highest exponent? It is 5 here. Do you see that? So highest exponent is 5. So that becomes the term, which is the leading term. Now, just to confuse you, it is not the first term in the given polynomial. Right? So that is what it is. So the degree is 5. Okay? So, and the leading coefficient a n is 1. Positive 1. Now, positive 1 means that right side is up. Right? Now, since degree is 5, opposite ends, that is the behavior. Do you see that? So, we are looking for, that is the end behavior. However, we are only looking for the, uh, yeah, so this is it. Now, the coefficient is 1, right? So, that is 1. So, that is the only answer which matches. X is when it approaches negative infinity, y approaches negative infinity. There you see it, right? When x approaches positive infinity, y approaches positive infinity. That's the end behavior. Leading coefficient is 5 and degree is, I mean, leading coefficient is 1, 1 x to the power of 5 and degree is 5. So I hope you get it. So that is how we are going to answer this question. Question number 3. We have to only decide about degree and leading coefficient. Now, 
when we give it in product form, then you have to add the exponents to find degree. So let's add them. It is 4 plus 3 plus 2, and that is 9. So the degree is 9. Now let's look into the leading coefficient a n. Now this is minus, and x is the first term in each, so it is negative. It is less than 0. Since it is less than 0, what do you expect as end behavior? Now clearly, in this particular case, negative leading coefficient means right side down, and odd, this is odd, right? So it means opposite ends, means left side is up. So that is the end behavior, okay? So when x approaches, so we are looking for these two, where we have degree of 9, and when x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity, so e is the right option. And when x approaches positive infinity, y approaches negative infinity. Is that correct? So I hope you get it, right? So let's move on. Here is question number 4. Degree and, and behavior of y equals to minus 2x, 3 times minus x to the power of 5, x squared minus 4, 3. Now here, what is the degree? So we'll add this 1 plus exponent 5 plus here x squared gets multiplied by 3 so 6 and so we get 6 plus 5 11 plus 1 12 so in this case degree is 12 now let's look into the leading coefficient a n now <clears throat> if you notice the term here is 3 minus x so 5 to the power of negative will give you negative correct so this function could actually be written as equal to, if you write this as negative, it becomes 2x, x minus 3 to the power of 5, x squared minus 4 whole cube. So it becomes positive. Do you note that? So that is a catch. And that is why this question is here. So leading coefficient is actually greater than 0. Since leading coefficient is greater than 0, and we are talking about a polynomial with even degree. Both sides should be facing up. So amongst these two, for x approaches negative infinity, y approaches positive infinity is the right option. Right? So for both, y is approaching positive infinity. Right? Here is question number five. Now we will learn the technique of sketching polynomials. Here is a simple example. Now to sketch a polynomial, you should note the zeros. We have zeros at three points here. x equals to 0, x equals to 1, and x equals to minus 2. Then find the order or multiplicity of the zeros. Right? Sometimes we say multiplicity. Now, at 0, the multiplicity is 1. At 1, it is 2. So, there are two zeros here. And at minus 2, the multiplicity is 3. Now, let's check the degree of the polynomial. Degree of the polynomial is 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. And let's check leading coefficient a n, whether it is positive or negative. It is positive, 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 so it is greater than 0. So it is positive. Now, if leading coefficient is positive, then we're looking for a graph. So it is not to the scale, but I think you will understand the concept. If leading coefficient is positive, right side is up. Now, degree is 6. That means even. Both face same side. Do you see that part? So we get the end behavior from degree and leading coefficient. Now, let's mark the zeros. We have 0 at 0, we have 0 at 1, and minus 2. Let me put minus 2 first, and then we put 1 here. This is at 0. These are the zeros for us. Now let's look into their order. At minus 2, it is order 3, so the graph will go like this, like a cubic function, right? At 0, it is order 1, it will cross like a linear function, and at 2, at 1, it is order 2, so it will go like a parabola. Do you see that behavior? 
that is what zero is so i hope you understand the difference between zeros and x intercepts x intercepts are just the points on x axis where the graph crosses x axis but zeros will also tell you the behavior right so now we can connect these curves and make a neat smooth curve do you see that that is how you could sketch your polynomial function is that clear now in this case the y intercept is also zero All right now let's move on and take other example question number six sketch graph of y equals to minus two times x square minus one whole square times x plus two to the power of five now it's a good idea to rewrite this equation you could write this as y equals to minus two factor x square minus one so we get x plus 1 times x minus 1 and both should be squared Do you see that part both should be squared and we have x plus 2 to the power of 5 so this is the equation which should be graphed now from here we can now write down what degrees add them up 5 plus 2 7 plus 2 9 degrees 9 and leading coefficient a n is greater than or less than it is minus 2 times something but it's negative right so it is less than 0 now that gives you the end behavior that is to say that the graph of the polynomial will be right side down since leading coefficient is negative or degree means opposite ends do you see that so opposite ends write down so first look into write down then go to the opposite end okay so that is going to be the end behavior of the given polynomial now let's write down the zeros zeros are at x equals to minus 1 plus 1 and minus 2 multiplicity at minus 1 we have two zeros so multiplicity is 2 at 1 also we have two zeros and at minus 2 we have five zeros so the order of multiplicity is 5 zeros give you behavior near the x-intercept so let's mark the zeros first so we have at minus 2 let's say this is minus 2 at minus 1 and at plus 1 so these are the zeros since the behavior is from quadrant 2 to quadrant 4 we'll begin here now at minus 2 order is 5 so this will go like a odd function at minus 1 order is 2 so it will turn then at minus 1 also it is order 2 it will again turn joining these points we get the graph of our polynomial right so it is kind of like this and this now there you go what you can also do is find the y intercept that is the value of function at x equals to 0 so y is equals to substitute 0 here minus 2 times 1 square times minus 1 square times 2 to the power of 5 is it okay so 2 to the power of 5 is 32 times 2 64 so we get minus 64 so this point is minus 64 so that is how we get accurate graph when you draw to the scale it will be perfectly fine but it should be a smooth curve as shown here Question number seven. I would like you to pause the video now, sketch this function, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, so here I'm just sketching our coordinate axis. Now we'll talk about degrees and leading coefficient. Now, what is the degree of this function? Add the exponents 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. How about leading coefficient? an you will notice that we have two minus x whole cube that means 
x minus 2 with a negative, right? So we could write this as negative half x plus 3 times x minus 1 whole square times x minus 2 cube. Now this is a very critical step. You see leading coefficient is not positive as it looks like, but it is less than 0. Since the leading coefficient is negative, right side is down. And because the degree is even, both are down. Do you see that? That is very important to notice. Now, let's plot the zeros with their multiplicity. We have three zeros here. One is at minus three. The other one is at one. And then we have at two. Let's write down their order. At minus 3, order is 1. At 1, it is of order 2. And at 2, it is of order 3. So, first 0 on the left side is at minus 3. Let's say minus 3. Then we have 1 and at 2. Okay. Now, at minus 3 is a linear 0. This 1 is linear. So, it will go like a line. Here, we have order 2, so it will turn like a parabola. And order 3 means it will go like a cubic function. Do you see that? So you could actually connect these points and sketch your graph. That's how it comes. Now the most important point left here is the y-intercept. Look for this point. Substitute x equals to 0 and find y-intercept. So find y-intercept. So if I substitute 0, I get y-intercept as minus half times 3 times 1 square times 2 cube. So that gives you a value of minus half times 2 cube is 8, right? 8 times 3 is 24. So we basically, oh, this is minus 2, sorry. This is negative 2, right? So we get positive. Negative and negative makes it positive. So it's correct. So it is plus 12. Do you see that? So that is how we get our graph. So I hope all the steps are absolutely clear. And these seven examples, which we have taken, help you to understand exactly how to sketch polynomial functions. I'd like you to go through some of my videos for which I have provided you a link here. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.